<laughs> oh, dude, I've got some fucking. So I went home. You have to come visit my compound, I know. dude. I really do. I was home yesterday. Got filled in on the whole fucking scoop. Yeah, what's going on at the compound? Fucking dude, a lot of drama. What? what? My sister has a new bird. There's a new bird. A male in the compound. bird. Yeah. What biggie. kind of bird? I don't like a cockatoo or some shit. Oh, I don't like know. a cockatoo. It's like a okay. mini parrot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got we had to separate the birds. It was a female bird. It was getting too horny. Oh, nice. She's laying a lot of eggs, and she got weak. So we had to separate the birds. <laughs> All right. My fucking uh. It's apparently news the compound. Dude, you gotta that's separate a, the birds. It's a big deal. And the bird, I swear to God, I'm, I'm not making it up. The bird has a crush on my mom. I don't know, my, I don't know about crush. My mom comes. Dude, mom my mom. Feeds it. My mom. No, my little sister Kathleen does. When my mom comes in, the bird whistles. Goes like, <laughs> does like one of those. I swear yeah, to God. So the bird's, Only my mom. The though. bird is cat calling your mom. Every yes, day? it's actually infuriating me. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I, I do. I saw it, and then my, my mom walks away. The bird freaks out, and it was. Just, I was in there. My sister Kathleen was in there. My mom comes in, and it's just like, it's pheromones, dude. It's science. Is it science? Yeah. That birds, birds pick up human pheromones? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Do you ever two can Sam, you. dude? Fucking what about two can Fruit Sam? Loops? <laughs> yeah. Is that what was going on there? <laughs> but no, I heard my... Uh, Didn't you tell me something about a rabbit and a tooth or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we have a rabbit as well. It just sits in a cage all winter in like the laundry room. <laughs> it's, it grows this one weird tooth <laughs> that like my sister is supposed to file down and she never does. <laughs> She's supposed to file a rabbit's tooth? She's supposed to clip it or something. Wait, yeah. <laughs> so we have like this mastodon of a rabbit in the laundry room just sitting in like a shit box. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> <laughs> two birds, two dogs, and a so fucking wait, mastodon rabbit. Your sister has a job that she has. Like, does she, you guys live in like colonial America? <laughs> you have to tend to the birds. <laughs> you have to file the fucking rabbit's teeth. <laughs> yeah. And then I get my mom. I was like, "Yo, what's dad up to?" And my dad's real into air rifles right now. <laughs> so you can buy these things. This old man. I said, "Yo, I'm gonna have a sponsor of the podcast for like a thousand bucks. This guy can build you a like a 22 caliber rifle." That shoots like a, a pellet, and you hook it up to a CO2 container. It just goes boom, silent. So my dad and his, my dad and his brother right now, are sixty and you know about fifty three, or their big thing right now is shooting fucking. Uh, they just go in the backyard. And one of them killed a squirrel, so they set a squirrel up in a, a dead squirrel in a tree and just sat there and shot it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! Yeah. Oh, you it's know, right. honestly, it's amazing that you're not. Weird. I mean, you're weird as fuck, but yeah, it's crazy. You're not weirder, dude. That, that to me is so fucking. It's not. I didn't realize how unnormal or how not normal that was until like literally this year. If I came home and my dad had a squirrel tied up and he was shooting it, oh, I would fucking call someone. I'd be like, you "Really? Guys need to talk to my dad, dude." See, I'd grab that gun and be like, "All right, headshot." I would probably Here take a couple shots. In fact, what am I? We have a BB gun in my house. Yeah. We throw shit off the deck and shoot it. But <laughs> only when I'm there. My dad's not. Tying up squirrels and shooting them. Oh, dude, it's so fucking funny. I can't wait to go out there and get a good crack on that squirrel. I don't dude. know if I want to go out there, dude. You have to. I'll get fucking destroyed. No, you won't. Dude. Yeah, well, I got to. I got to fucking get in shape before I head out there. <laughs> I know how you're. Fu- I've heard your stories, dude. <laughs> it is roast battles, dude. Every yeah. dinner. I don't know them enough to roast them. Oh, you could fucking rip. You could just let them go. Yeah, I mean, I'll. Yeah, but if I make fun of them, I'm making fun of the whole compound, dude. It doesn't matter. I would just make fun of the compound. Doesn't matter. Look at this fucking <laughs> this fucking place, you weird fucks. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be tight. We should throw a fucking festival out there this summer. You have chat to, festival. If I come, you have to treat me as though. Oh my I god, mean, these are old old rules. If we're oh, going yeah. back in time, I have to bed one of your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give me a woman in the house. We will. We'll fucking get before you go to bed. We'll give you a bowl of warm milk. Yeah, you just lap from and it. Your we'll finest, take it your finest meads. <laughs> <gasps> That'll be tight, man. I can't wait. But yeah, it was good. It was good to get home, man. I, I want to hear about. Uh, so you grew up on the compound. How many brothers did you share a bedroom with? Uh, it was me, Tom. <laughs> it was all. This is all at one point. It shifted around because my two, my two sisters usually had their own bedroom. Before that, it was like Tom and Kev, me, Billy, Kathleen. Then Mara was born, so it was Mara one bedroom, Kathleen one bedroom, then me, Tom. Kev, Billy, for a spell of time. The four of you were four in of one us, bedroom? Yeah, at one point, the four Holy of us were in a bedroom. fuck, dude. It was, that was like that halfway house we saw. Dude, pretty much was. <laughs> it was a big room, but... But yeah, dude, it was like nightly, just nightly ass whoopings, dude. Oh, my God. Nightly. Dude. My two brothers were laying... We'd all lay... I still, to this day, like... It. When we slept in the uh, hotel... Yeah. I love sharing a room with people. Yeah, it's funny. Like, when we were in a hotel, and when the lights are out, and you're laying in bed, and you're talking to someone, the lights out, that's literally yeah, my, that favorite, my favorite thing in the world. That's a really nice feeling. Oh, right. it's the best. And my brothers would do that. 
and I try to chime in. They're like, one more word out of you, you're going to beat your fucking ass. And I just do like, I'd sit there and just be dead silent and be like, in this fucking, <laughs> I would just feel the fist. It'd be like thirty seconds, like that movie we just watched when it, like, yeah. the bomb goes off and it's silent. And it's like, <laughs> oh man, they beat you till you cry and you're like, <laughs> and it's not fun. Stop crying. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> What's up? That was yeah, the first time the fucking Spud met Okani's. He's like, oh, fucking Okani's has Bay. Dude, he also has Bay. <laughs> like punched a wall. <laughs> Oh man, what's up, dude? Chilling, dude. Yeah, I've just been living that pot pie life, dude. I saw you just crushing, stand, crushing pot pies, standing in the kitchen, <laughs> scarfing pot pies. Yeah, man, that was tight. It's that, it's that time in a relationship when my bae makes me a pot pie. Pot pies are so good. I've been asking for pot pie for like a year. Yeah, Finally you, you never get them. it. Nobody ever gets you pot pie. Not no one makes you a pot pie. My, dude. although recently I did have pot pie this year. My family had it in the fridge, leftovers. Ooh, we have some, ooh. bro. I put a hurting on cold pot pie. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing else to do. Just kept scooping in it. Yeah. No, no, nobody politely eats at pot pie. No. I was eating pot pie thinking about the inception of it. It must have been the most ridiculous fucking invention. It's up there. Some dude being like, I made a pie. Like, what's in it? He's like, soup. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's good. People just came by. They're like, there's fucking soup in this pie? Because that was a big deal. They were stoked. A, pie was like once a year. Yeah. So people probably went for dessert, and they're like, what the hell? I'm eating double what dinner. Tarnation. <laughs> There's peas in the pie? <laughs> got peas and chicken in it? got me eating double dinner. Yeah, like, man. Leave it alone. He's worked hard at that pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I had a whole fucking, in my head, I had a whole fucking dialogue between like a settler. We're fan. too close. This, this, this setup down here is uncomfortable. You're too close? We're too, you and I are I can physically ba- I can back close. up to my, I have another, my, de- my desk is L-shaped. I, don't I like could f- not face you at all. The eye contact we make during the podcast makes me uncomfortable. I could not face you I at thought, all. I think about kissing you. Do you know that? I could sit over here and just totally not face you at all. Do you know that? Did you hear what I said? <laughs> you want to kiss me? I think about kissing your mouth. We should kiss, dude. Ew. So we can't do a podcast in kissing range. No, it's too much. True. I get boned up. Chemistry is too fucking... This chemistry podcast too sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's going on? Chill, man. Just... uh. What the fuck do I have going on? We got to get a new dog walker or a new dog sitter. Ours. Uh, Why? I hate to say it, dude. Ours was in the dog sitting game for the wrong reasons. What's that? Just for the money. Oh, you need somebody who loves the canine. Yeah, exactly. She was she was mad. She's like, wait, the dogs are going to sleep in bed with me? And I was like, we're already in Florida. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's what they do. Don't you love dogs more than anything? <laughs> I think she was in it for I think the it was money. on your profile that you love dogs. I mean, dude, I figured any dog walker, any dog sitter, I feel like it was like automatically assumed. Like, I don't yeah. know. It could be like a Caesar Milan type thing where it's like you need to instill some discipline. <laughs> you think she was Caesar yeah, Milan? She could have been pissed that you like. She was probably like, I can't believe anybody would treat dogs <laughs> with this level of like you're doing the dogs a disservice that by letting might them be. just run, run wild dog, all yeah. over you. Yeah, it also might be why Those she... Those dogs are bad. Your dogs are bad. She walked them separately, too. As soon as I walked in, Jax humped me. <laughs> Did he really? Immediately. <laughs> and then Matt Matt tried to bring the dogs down here while we're recording this. And I, as soon as you're like, all right, let's see. One strike and you guys are out. I was just like, it's gonna the strike's coming right away. <laughs> right, And immediately they started humping and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Got kicked out. <laughs> on the third floor right now. They're not. They didn't do. They didn't handle it well. I, they haven't handled. They haven't handled anything well. When anyone's been down here, they've failed every single test. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I They're fantasize about being someone who have a dog. It's like, oh, it's my old dog. Just lays in the corner. If someone comes in here, it's like they hump them. They get on top of them. They like bite each other. It's, it's a yeah. fucking nightmare. Well, she also walked them separately. She's like, I didn't know I had to walk them at the same time. I'm like, what? I'm I don't like, like this lady. I'm like, where'd you come up with this? She a white? Mm-mm. Mm. Right. What, what do you got to say about that? Uh, nothing. What do you got to say? Why, why, what t- your bra- why does your brain take you there? It sounds like a white lady job. Of uh, dog sitting? Yeah. Never thought of it that way. Interesting. Never didn't even think that there would be African-American dog sitters. Wasn't African-American, bro. Whoa. You continue. Who was it? It's an engine. An engine? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you, you, the wait. Cla- no, like in the classic sense. No, no, no. The classic sense is a Native American. No, in the classic sense, Columbus had it wrong. 
Okay. Dude, are you celebrating Thanksgiving this year? Yo, you, you know I better am. fucking you not, know dude. I am. You are? I celebrated Columbus Day. I celebrate the fuck out of Thanksgiving. I'm going to get Day. kicked out of my family dinner again. I'm going to start just fucking double. You got a protest. I'm going to start smashing everything, dude. You got a protest. Uh, dude, I'm going to fucking freak out. Like,